Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for what is going to be a quick time-lapse painting today. I recorded this painting using my cell phone's time-lapse feature, and that's part of the reason that it's such a quick video. The second reason this is a quick painting is because it's a very small painting, only six by eight. And the third reason, and probably most important, this painting went super smoothly, and I did the whole thing in one six-hour sitting. This painting is based off of the description of a painting painted and described by Nicholas Urbe, a fantastic painter who has a channel on YouTube called Our Painted Lives. He is quickly becoming one of my favorite painters, and I apologize to him if I butchered his last name. I am sorry. He did a series of paintings where for the whole week, he would describe one of his paintings that he had already painted, but had never shown anyone. The reveal would be a week after he had described all the paintings. But he didn't go into depth in trying to visually describe it, but instead he gave a, an idea of what he was painting, but then tried to give the feeling and more of the experience of painting and looking at the painting. Not so much a like matter of fact, detailed description of what it looked like. So I tried to recreate one of those paintings, but one of the biggest discrepancies, his painting was of his niece, who is a little girl. And I did not have access to a model that fit that description. So instead, I decided to use myself because I have long hair and I thought it would be kind of funny. I set up a photo shoot with myself, used my cell phone, did the whole selfie thing, had it on a stick, you know, tried to capture what I thought his painting kind of looked like. Based off of that reference, painted this painting. Now, generally speaking, I hate painting self-portraits, even though I've been doing quite a bit of them lately. But this was a really fun painting to do. I did my best to channel my internal Nicholas Ulbe, and I don't know if I really succeeded. Maybe if you're being super generous, hopefully you can see the influence a little. Now, I don't know if it was because I was trying to emulate his style, or if it was because I was trying to think like he thinks, based off of the videos I've seen, but this painting went super smooth, just flowed with no problem, and I'm super happy with it. Maybe it's because of how easily this painting came out that I'm so happy with it, or maybe it's because of the whole story and connection with Nicholas Orbe's painting, but either way, it's one of my favorite recent paintings, and I hope you like it. Thank you all for joining me for this. Please do the usual YouTube things like subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the painting, tell me if I'm saying Nicholas Ulbe's name correctly. I will leave my links in the description and have a good one.